Hi, it's Claire at the Phonics Nest and I would like to show you today um, a game which I think is really lovely to teach that early skill of blending. When your child's just started to learn the sounds and they want to put them together to read the words. So across the top of the whiteboard here I have written some of the very early sounds from phase two and I've written the word sat. Now you and I know that that says the word sat. What we want the children to do is to blend those sounds together, hear the word and say it out loud. So the way that your child's teacher will have shown them how to do this at school is they will have written the word and then they'll have put little what we call sound buttons underneath. And the idea is that at the beginning the children are encouraged to push out the sound, say them individually and then blend them together. Now the key to this skill is saying the sound short and sharp and clearly so that the children can hear the whole word. So we don't want s a t because it doesn't sound like sat. We need s a t s a t sat. Now obviously got a little one who wants to be a teacher at home they may already have shown you how to do that but your fingers get all mucky everything gets all mucky so another way to do it which I really like is using play-doh so you can also ask your child to help you roll out the play-doh buttons that's great for hand strength so we've rolled out our own um, buttons to press and again we're going to do now we only really want to be doing this once but you may need to do it two or three times for them to hear the word at the very beginning so sat sat now, when you're happy that they've done that, what you could do is take away one of the letters, replace it with another letter from phase two, and here we have a completely different word. Let's hear, see if we can hear what the word is. Pat, pat. You can keep going with that, changing in and out the sounds and seeing if they can read the different words. So we could go from pat to, let's see, p -a -n, pan. Pushing the buttons as they go, so p a n pan. Now, a note of caution: the sound buttons like this only work for single sounds, so that sounds made by one letter. If it's a sound made by two letters, your child will have been introduced to it at school using a dash rather than a button. So, sticking to those sounds which are made by just one letter. For more ideas and games, and for more guidance on how to say the sounds correctly, you can always pop over to our website www.thephonicsnest.co.uk for more hints, tips and videos. Thanks ever so much. Bye.